Thought I'd show you guys how I line bore Model A's and Model T's. And this block here is a Model B. I'm going to line bore it for inserts. And uh, this this setup is is uh, the same setup I use on Babbitt in the Model T's or or the inserts in the Model A or or Babbitt in the Model A as far as that goes. But uh, just put my test bar in my lineup bar and uh this is a tobin art ta14 machine and uh the first thing we got to do is get our uh lineup shaft in the center so i'm going to show you how i do that uh, i've got this tool here that i made this precision ground bar here and uh I put a dial indicator on it. I set it on the rails. And I slide it till I get the highest, till I get the highest reading. So right down here is where I turn it to center it. So I'm gonna raise it up to zero. And we'll have to go over on the other side and do the same thing. We're going to work that back and forth till, till we get it all centered. So now we've got the bar. It's exactly centered in the block. So that's going to, so when I start uh, putting my cutter in, line boring, so we know we got the, the boring bar centered in the block. Okay, so now we're going to take I got a couple of fixtures here. One's for a Model A, one for a Model T. So we're going to slide these gauges on. Camshaft here that we're going to put in, and uh, have these bushings. I'll slide it in the, the block here. This this uh. Is, for the center line of the camshaft. Then we're gonna come up here, <clears throat> slide these on. Now I've already adjusted this to where uh, the, I've got my center line per, pretty much right. So you see how these slide on there easy if, if, if the center was too far apart at one or too close. So we're gonna put it on the front up here. We see we got this sliding on here easy now. So we, according to the specs on these bars here, we should be right. But I always double check it. I'm gonna slide these off. And I know my measurement from forward is 4.154 from center of this camshaft to center of the crankshaft. 
and you got two thousandths variance you can use. It's it's one point four point one five four to four point one five six. So now I'm going to take me a five to six <clears throat> micrometer. And I'm gonna mic this right here. And like I said, I've I've already I've already set this up pretty close. I think I'm gonna to have to move my front one, but the, the back one is pretty good. Now we're gonna go up here to the front, and you can see this one here is a little loose. So I'm gonna I'm going move my 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 top of the arc hard to see these these adjustments on the back side of this but what I'm doing I'm sliding the block over on these fixtures here this this moves it that way and the one on the other side moves it this way and then you lock them both down when you get it get it correct we're just about there Okay, we're, we're there now. So I'm gonna lock, lock it down. Okay, now, let me, let me check the back side, being a move to front side. It's pretty good. So now I'm going to take my false camshaft out. And I'm going to install the camshaft gear that I'm going to use in the camshaft. made a bushing that fits my cam gear it's just a brass bushing size for my lineup shaft and I'm going to slide this on my my lineup shaft and check my end play or my gear lash on my cam gear So now I'm supposed to have three to four thousands. And I don't know if you can hear it or not. <clears throat> I hope you can see it. But we've got our we've got our 
or backlash set correct. <clears throat> so if, if it wasn't, I could, uh, and some of the, especially the fiber gears, those things are, some of them's out of the ballpark. They'll be, some will be small, some will be bigger. These are aluminum gears that I buy in match sets, and they're, they're pretty consistent. But uh, if you're using fiber gears, most of the time I'll have to vary this center line a little bit to get the correct uh, gear lash. So I hope that helps some of you guys that's uh, got a Tobin art machine or <clears throat> any kind of line bore machine as far as that goes the way, way I set them up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.